for weeks, protesters have clashed with federal officers outside the U.S. courthouse in downtown Portland. Now that struggle moves from outside on the street inside to the courtroom. On Wednesday, a judge will hear from lawyers representing Oregon's attorney general, who sued federal officers for using unlawful tactics. Because it's outrageous, it's a violation of the Constitution, and we're not standing for it. Oregon's AG is seeking a temporary restraining order to restrict federal law enforcement in Portland after allegations federal officers in unmarked vans were arresting protesters without probable cause. The feds say they acted appropriately. Well, I think it's restricting, you know, my freedoms. In court filings, several Oregonians, including Jennifer Arnold, said fear of federal officers prevented her from exercising her rights to participate in peaceful protests. It seems like a very controlling maneuver to silence people, to restrict their movement, their freedom, and then, you know, to prevent them from speaking out. Similar lawsuits have also been filed on behalf of state lawmakers a Portland church, the Western State Center, and the ACLU. They have slightly different theories and legal approaches, but all touch on the same issue, the role of federal law enforcement sent to Portland to protect federal buildings through an executive order signed by President Trump earlier this month. Jeff Dobbins, law professor at Willamette University College of Law, predicts decisions could come quickly on whether to grant temporary restraining orders. The judges are used to getting these kinds of emergency requests, and certainly in a situation like this where there's a lot of uh, pressure from the community and uh, and obviously the stakes are very high, it, it's not unusual for judges to, to have a hearing and to be able to resolve something like this uh, on the order of just a few days. Legal experts say the way cases are resolved here in Oregon could serve as a bellwether to the rest of the country. If federal law enforcement is deployed to other unwelcoming cities, as the president has suggested, Kyle Boshi, KGW News.